This is Tony Black right here at the BizLink Center in Duluth, and I'm here for the Visionary People's It's a Day in the Life of Business, the actual reality check. Yeah, I was looking for the sign, but don't worry about that. Uh, we're here right now with Lady Ashley. Lady Ashley has a internet Christian radio show that she promotes new artists, they talk about God, they talk about religion, and they have great conversations with all of her guests that she has to come on her show. Is it weekly, daily? It's weekly. And what's the name of your show? Judah Mix Experience. Oh, all right. That's That's a Judah Mix. Yeah, girl, they're going to see that beautiful smile. Oh, so God. What type of music, um, as far as the Christian music, do you all focus on? Is it... Um, Christian, reggae, gospel, what is it exactly? Well, ATL Praise House, um, the CEO is Brother Luther Bryan, and he birthed this ministry in, back in about three years ago, and when he did it, it was strictly Caribbean gospel. I'm talking about Calypso, reggae, and it was streaming in all the Caribbean countries. I came on board trying to change that. Um, so that I'm able to come out with the urban gospel, all the Fred Hammonds, the Mary Marys, and all the, the American gospel. But I seem to be now focusing on our local artists, that people who don't even know, it's not yet a Mary Mary. So they call me Bobby Jones of, of, of internet radio <laughs> because I really want to catapult them into their, their vision, their dreams, their, their calling. And um, it's been successful because... When we stream in 90 plus countries, people who have never heard them before get either free CDs or people go to their link and they go and they order their CDs and they get widespread, um, they get their stuff noticed right, very right. easily. So, yeah. so the new artists that are coming out, they get to actually break out yes. when they would have to try so hard in other markets. Absolutely. They have to go into the, we all know about the payola. Yes. They have to go into that, but they can come to your audience yes. and you all will break that record for them Absolutely. without all of the payola and all the little political strings Absolutely. attached. Absolutely. It's a wonderful, that's a wonderful um uh, outlet for new artists to break out in the gospel mm -hmm. industry and you've also turned me on to something new I did not know about Caribbean oh gospel island worship oh, I did come not, on. I never heard of that honestly I've never actually heard yes of it. it is very popular it's very mainstream and um how it came to be I think one of the first persons that burst through the scenes of island worship was um, an artist that was a secular artist named Papa Sun, and now he collaborated with Kirk Franklin and he bust through and everybody just kind of came onto the scene with um, um, island worship and then it is a lot of talent in the Caribbean a lot of talent you you'll be surprised that when you hear it it doesn't really also doesn't really mean that it has to have all this Caribbean vibe to it. Right. Um, they have a lot of American um, fusion um, right. music into it. So, okay. But it's really good. It's really, people from all over is getting the hip of it. Jermaine Edwards, we got people from Barbados, Hazaya Hines, we have um, um, so much um, the, the, the young lady, I can't remember her name right now, but She's um, Pastor Shelly Thunder. She was a secular artist in back in the day. Okay. And there's another one who did Dance Hall Queen. There was a movie called Dance Hall Queen. She did the 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 theme song for Dance Hall Queen. And now she's a um, Caribbean gospel artist out of Jamaica. So there's a lot of Caribbean gospel music that's floating all over the place, and it's 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 wonderful. It's well, so wonderful. Yeah. Well, we you look need to, you need forward to. to seeing more and hearing more from yes. your station. Uh, what's the name of your internet radio station? Or what's the call letters? It is www.atlpraisehouse.com. That's where you can come in and, and log on. And you can also log on on your iPhones, your smartphones. And you can also... Call in on the studio, 678-325-7944, where you can do all your music requests, your prayer requests, whatever, and we're there for you. This week, Saturday, I, I implore you to come on because we have Elder Rod Lumpkin, okay. who is the worship leader for Bishop Paul S. Morton. He will be on my show as a live guest. He has a 
on a worship conference coming up on the 18th and the 19th. And we're supposed to, big hitters. I'm talking about William Murphy is going to be there. Tasha Cobb is going to be there. The Bingham's is going to be there. It's going to be a big move of God here in ATL in Atlanta. And so if you want to get more information, just come on, log on, and see what this man of God has to say. You'll be very impressed and you'll be very moved. Well, we look forward to seeing yes, more man. from you yes. and your internet radio yes. show. Thank you for joining us here Thank in A Day you. in the Life of business, the Thank actual God. reality of it all, yes. and right here at BizLink Center here in Duluth, Georgia. Thank yes. you for coming. Thank you. I'm Tony Black, me. right here at the BizLink Center in Duluth, Georgia, reporting live with Miss Lady Ashley. <laughs>